Good morning or afternoon, depending on where you are. This is Dating Tips with, by Lori um, every Tuesday at noon. Um, the, all month long, we have been talking about how to get past that first date. Sometimes you go out on a date and you're a little bit interested and you'd like a second date. So I guess first of all, let's talk today just a little bit about how do you know if you want a second date? Because I think that's, that's important and that comes up sometimes. You do not have to be just head over heels with the person in order to want to have a second date. If on that first date you find the person a little intriguing, they're a little bit interesting, you had a good time, maybe you want to know a little more about them. That is good enough reason to want a second date. So what do you need to do on that first date to get the second date? That's kind of what we've been focusing on. So today let's talk about, it's all about them. So it's really not about you. You want that first date to be about them. How do you have conversations that don't sound like an interview, <laughs> you know, so that the person is turned off? Um, so it's about how you show up. I always suggest show up and be more interested in them than trying to be interesting yourself. Yes, you want to share things about the, about you and you want to let them get to know you a little bit, but make sure you're going into that first date um, with an attitude of curiosity and you're just sort of letting things flow, getting to know a little bit about them. Remember, you don't have to make your final decision based on the first date. Sometimes people go into that first date with their long checklist, right? And then it does start to sound like an interview. Um, and you're trying to decide, could I be attracted to this other person? Could I see myself kissing them? Um, could I see my life blending with theirs? Would they be a good husband, a good wife? Um, women are more likely to do that sometimes than men, um, just saying. But you know, we've got all this stuff going on in our minds and we're trying to figure all this out. Too much, too much too soon, too much pressure on a first date. So I wanna suggest today that you go on that first date simply just being interested. Find out what you can about the person, but it doesn't matter whether you find out a lot or a little bit. Just, just kind of get to know them a little and then leave them wanting more. So that's the other part that I want to leave you with today on my tip. No first dates that go three, four hours, two hours even. Keep that first date relatively short. Be interested in the other person. Make them feel good. Leave every first date saying, what could I do to make that other person feel like they've enjoyed themselves, like they've had a good time, even if it's gonna go down as one of the worst dates ever. Still, you could leave that person feeling good about themselves. You don't have to choose to go out on a second date with them if it's one of the worst dates ever. Or if you learn something and you go, yeah, absolutely no way. I know that this person is just not right for me. So be interested in them, but keep it light, keep it casual. Keep those first dates relatively short. Leave them feeling good about themselves and leave them curious about you. You want that person to want to go out with you again because they want to get to know more about you. So hopefully this is going to help you get beyond the first date to a second date or a third date. Take your time getting to know people. You know, there are so many people that on that first or second date, maybe you're just really not sure. And that can turn out to be some of the best potential partners for you. This happens to my clients all the time where they'll come in and say, eh, I don't know, I'm not really sure they're my type. And as we talk about it, they decide to give them a little more time. Sure enough, down the road ends up being the perfect partner for them. So 
Hopefully we gave you some things to think about today. You can always ask me questions, send me comments, um, send me messages, share these dating tips, let me know what you want to talk about. And we will continue next week with our last week on how to get past the first date. This is Lori Davis. Thank you so much for joining me on my dating tips. Have a great rest of the day.